Today we are going to go over using Escala Drive Lizard Industrial to create a basic Escala GA800 VFD startup file. With the Escala Drive Lizard Industrial already open on our desktop, we will select Start a New Project. Next, we will give the project a name and any defining information. We'll note here that we will be enabling Bluetooth, choosing Coast to Stop for a stopping method with 10 second Excel decel times, and disabling reverse operation. Next, we'll select OK. Now with the Drive Selection tab active, we will select the Drive Series, GA800, the software version, highest number being the most recent, the model being a 480 volt, 5 horsepower drive for this example, the control method, and verifying the region. With all of our initial drive information set, we will now click Select Drive, Work Offline. As you can see, we have a robust set of options available with the Escala's Drive Wizard Industrial. For this demo, we will click View Edit Drive Parameters. Notice that the A102 control method selection parameter is highlighted in red. This indicates that the parameter has been changed from its out-of-the-box state, as we did on the Drive Selection tab, selecting volts per hertz for the control method. First, we will initialize Bluetooth in the A112 Bluetooth ID selection. We will select any number other than zero and save the working value. Please note that this will serve as the password to access the drive via Bluetooth from a mobile device, which we will cover in a later video. Next, we will update the B103 stopping method selection to coast to stop, and we will also update the B104 reverse operation selection to reverse disabled. Let's verify the Excel and decel times in the C101 and the C102 Excel decel parameter set. As you can see, we have our desired Excel decel times already set at 10 seconds from the factory. Next, let's update our reference to 15 hertz and save the working value. Finally, let's verify that our motor rated frequency and horsepower are correct. We already have our desired voltage of 480 volts AC pre-populated. Now let's enter the motor rated FLA being 6.7 amps for our example and save the working value. Finally, let's verify that our motor rated frequency and horsepower are correct. And based on our motor nameplate, they are. We now have a basic startup drive file where we can begin our drive commissioning process. From here, we can also write the parameters to a connected drive, export the parameter set, and even email the parameter set directly to our team. As you can see, with our nameplate data in hand, along with a few clicks of the mouse, your Yaskawa VFD parameter file is now ready to kick off another successful Yaskawa VFD startup.